Hello, dear sweet family of light. It's me, Lisa, Transcendence Brown, and it has been a while since I've been able to come outside and do a video uh, with you guys. Um, I may have some rain coming, so I may have to keep this short. Um, I had a lot of things uh, to share, and when I get in front of the video, um, unless I'm doing a live event, I go blank. <laughs> Um, I kind of need the, those on the other end to create the energy of what's uh, to come forth. And so, I brought some friends, uh, some beautiful um, family um, uh, to share with you. In addition uh, to some of the things I'm going to talk about, I might get to do several videos today. Um, but, um, that's beside the point. Um, right now, I would... Uh, like to uh, extend and, and transmit uh, light to all um, on your ascension journey um, on your um, raising your light quotient on your journey of connecting as your higher self becoming source uh, creators gods um, and all again uh, multi-dimensional beings uh, uh, this is who we are um, the world is quite different uh, for <laughs> as we perceived it all to be, and it's become a very uh, magnificent and magical place to be. Um, when we allow ourselves, um, this is a huge journey of allowing all to transpire, and the human aspect of us doesn't like it to uh, allow. The, I've been observing a lot of uh, self-sabotaging, and a lot of uh, the human mindset kicking in really strong, and, and I would like to actually explain a, a bit of that We've moved into the time of the crystalline structures for and and the new light grids um, anchoring and anchored in um, for new earth so that everyone can enjoy this magnificent paradise in space. Um, but you have to go inward in order to find it and bring it forth. Uh, the human aspect of us doesn't like to go inside. It wants to hide. He wants to ignore. He wants to pretend those things are not there, and it wants to push everything back in. He wants to judge. Um, for us, we let go of all of that. We don't judge. We don't care. Um, but there is a space between judgment and fixed realities that exist in our head and how things have to be. Um, a certain way, and that has to go. A perception of how everything is was skewed and distorted by our own human mind. Now, as we come to exist as, and this isn't a, it starts out as a uh, place we tap into, but then it becomes who we are and where we live. Um, but you have to tap into it, <clears throat> excuse me, repeatedly uh, before you can live there. And so you got to go there as much as you can. I went to something recently and they were saying, shut down, shut down, don't stay open. And I'm like, what? Um, I didn't realize that there were still old mindsets out there. Um, I don't see that in my world, and I have to be exposed to it to know that it even exists. Um, and I'll be shown. You like my roosters? They're family, too. I'll be shown what still exists so I can come back and share with others about how um, distorted our, our world used to be. And how everything was backwards, upside down, inside out, and, and in reverse, and we have to completely... Um, let go of the old mindsets. Um, now the structures uh, that kept us bound to limited realities um, and we are completely unlimited here. We don't have those barriers. We don't have those beliefs. We don't have those uh, fixed realities anymore. And as we don't have them anymore the limits are released. And they were inside of us. When the veils are removed, it brings forth new, forth new awareness, new ability to see. Um, that out there, every, people will look at it and point the finger. And that out there is our projection. That is our transmission of what's inside of us. And, and we come to understand that if we don't like what we see out there, we have to do something to change it. Um, that's a big part of this journey that a lot of us didn't get or we weren't ready for yet because we go inside. Um, and, and I've had messages from people recently about how they are questioning the reality because they're all pulling away. They're all going inside really deeply. 
And they're realizing that outside world out there doesn't match what they feel now and, and what their truth is, but they don't know what to believe. They don't know how to exist. And believe me, we all went through this along the way. It's a part of the journey. Everything will be okay. Um, we question how we're supposed to function, how we're supposed to live in a world, how we're supposed to survive. Survival goes too. There is no surviving this. There is completely letting go so that everything we desire can come to us. Um, it's waiting. We blocked the way. We got in our way. We self-sabotaged ourselves. We talked ourselves out of abundance. We told ourselves we weren't worthy. That we didn't have enough, couldn't have enough, weren't good enough. All of those are untruths and they're inside of us. We have to let them go. Now, um, the quantum field looks like a net. And it's inside of our structure. And the unified field um, is all of us connected as one again. And the fixed human carbon-based physical structure, the dense body, um, has to release a lot in order to walk as a unified field. Um, and I know I'm speaking words to some people, you, you feel them, you may not understand me, but that doesn't matter. You don't have to understand me logically. You have to feel me. You have to connect with me and everybody else that resonates with you, that speaks what you know without making sense. That's the beauty of this. Um, we speak to your heart. We speak to the star being in you. We speak to the crystalline, the, the Lemurian. We speak to the um, galactic being inside. All of, we're all those things. Um, we speak to that. That's what feels us. That's what knows that this truth and, and these realities are real. And so we have to completely relax our mind. We have to go to sleep. We have to let go of the old belief systems. We have to continually expand. We have to find new perspectives. We have to not believe that our realities are fixed. We have to look at that out there. And we have to realize it can change. But change comes from inside. It comes from inside of seeing. Our, our vision is inside. And for a while, our hearing is inside. Everything's inside. We feel truth. We, we hear with our entire being. We, we see um, with vision um, that expands so far beyond our physical eyes. And then they all merge and they become one thing. And, and that is our essence. Uh, that is an energy that we connect as. Um, there is no separation between us and, and those things. Um, these frequencies, uh, these photonic light activations, these um, upgrades, um, these everything that's going on inside of you um, out there is a representation of what's going on I will take pictures I will share it because it represents what's going on inside of all of us and I will point everybody inward and that is because the entire universe is inside when the Sun um, has a solar flare it's gonna go on inside of you you're gonna flare when Christ consciousness same thing as the solar flare different uh, version of the truth um, erupts our heart opens, we, f we feel connected with everything as one. It's, it's the most magnificent thing. But that's going on inside. Your heart, the human uh, mind closed the heart down. They put up masks, walls, um, veils, and those are coming down really fast. People starting to see things they couldn't see before. New awarenesses, that's what this is. Um, there is so much to this. Um, anyway, I'm gonna move on beyond that. Um, but the structures that held every reality in place, every reality of lack, every reality of survival, every reality of I don't have enough are inside, and they got to go. And one, we have to come to appreciate and love and respect ourselves so much that we're not willing to compromise anymore. A masculine any energy, our divine masculine gets pulled out every once in a while and because we have to stake our claim to our new reality and this is the way it is and then when we're done staking our claim and we go back to soft inside and that's creating balance and by going from one extreme to the other first extreme was having no power next extreme is having so much power we obliterate everything then we come back 
and as quiet, beautiful, magnificent beings, we're very powerful without having to speak um, or say anything at all from a place of softness. Uh, same thing for honesty. Um, we weren't honest with ourselves. We didn't honor us. And then we um, created a world of where we had people around us that, that weren't honest and didn't honor themselves or us either and we have to start saying not okay anymore we go to the other stream we start cutting people out and then we're like okay the world's back to in alignment again cool we stay in flow and I got little raindrops coming with my computer outside so I might have to cut this one off and say I love you I'll come back because I have the beautiful and magnificent Andaras uh, to share with you I will do one or two and